Somebody's gonna catch one on this point over here by these stairs. Got to. It's a great looking spot right now. Got him? Told you somebody's gonna catch one up there. Medina Lake this morning with my brother brought the kayaks out here as you can see launching at Red Cove Marina just had a tournament out here last weekend and me and my partner actually won we caught quite a few fish so I told my brother we should hit Medina sometime soon and here we are today it's a Thursday gonna be a little bit cold here in the water for a little bit I think because it's a cool fall morning it's October 21st got a little bit of a breeze here not much which I like with kayaks anyway if we had a boat with a electric powered trolling motor I'd want a little bit more wind but this is actually pretty good without the or with just kayaks so like I said I'm here with my brother Trying to catch us a mess of fish today. Let's see if we can get on here. Get any bites yet? Oh, Saw a little bass falling already? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I've seen a couple of fish pop out here towards the middle, busting on something. Let's get in the yaks and get moving around. We're gonna go this way, down this wall is what we're gonna do. Well, actually, we'll probably work around this pocket first, just right around the Red Cove, and then we'll go down this side wall here. Then later in the day, we'll probably make our way back along here again. Fish these marinas a little bit. I'm not even going to get wet if I don't have to. Oh, there's one. Oh, golly. Little guy, but I just missed one. Better break out that whopper plopper. Oh, oh. Golly. What in the world? Kind of took it under for a second, but never really had it. I think he had it by the tail or something. I don't know. Never really felt much pressure. Never felt that much pressure. Hmm. Interesting. There we go. That's what you need to be throwing. Those fish would have got hooked on a whopper plopper probably. That's why I like throwing it more when they're slashing at it like that, but I'll let you throw the bait that I think is really gonna catch them. I think they actually hit that whopper plopper a little better too, especially when it's calm like this, a little bit more subtle. Oh no. Golly, wrap that one bad. I saw it. 
There we go. Finally hooked one. All right. There's one. Woo There's one for the buzz bait. That one ate it pretty good. Well, I don't know how I say that, but he still got hooked on the outside with the trailer hook. Anyway, just a little guy. Probably not even 14 inches long, but healthy little sucker. That fish came up from deep water to eat that too. It's at least 15, maybe 20 feet deep where he just came up and ate that bait. You know what, before we move along here, I'm actually gonna switch one of these rods already. I had a spinner bait tied up. But we got here just a little bit later than I wanted to, actually. So, that spinnerbait, I think, is just a little bit... A little bit too loud for how clear this water is right now. I want to get something a little bit more subtle. Also a bait that I think would work good around these docks. This little live target bait ball. It's a lot like a spinnerbait. In fact, it's got a spinnerbait blade on it, but... It's actually like a little mini A-rig is what it is. I think tossing this little thing around this dock could be pretty deadly, actually. Imitates a little school of bait fish that they're obviously feeding on. I'm not going to fish the dock super heavy right now. I'm just going to kind of toss around. Later in the afternoon, we'll really fish it more thorough. But for right now, I want to cover some water and try to find some feeding fish along the bank still. So I'm not going to fish this real thorough right now. Got one? No. Oh, what was that? I don't know. It sounded like something splashing on the other side. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was loud. I thought that was on your bait. <laughs> that was definitely a bass eating something. Ooh. Fish just busted out there in the middle again. Yeah, I gotta stop throwing at this dock right now. I gotta get moving down the bank. I'm seeing way too much of that. You miss one? It missed me. Yep, the first few I had missed it too on top water. Golly, my reel's getting squeaky, you kidding me? I need to oil this thing. Golly, that is so bad. I might just switch rods here. I can't be constantly reeling like this on a buzz bait. Hearing that squeak, that is terrible. Yeah, that's so bad, I gotta switch it. That's just, that is a terrible sound. I think at least if I put something else on that reel, it's not a buzz bait, you have to reel constantly and quickly. I think the squeaking won't be so annoying, but it's definitely annoying trying to throw a buzz bait with it. You know what, we'll just put nothing on there for right now. I might. Might want to switch from that little bait ball thing here in a minute anyway. I'm just going to leave this rod here. Nothing tied to it. Oh! <laughs> wow. There's a fish just waiting right there. Buzz bait never even buzzed. Huh. Little guy just chilling in the back of his pocket. Just waiting for something to drop on his head. That was wild. Surprised my brother's not getting blown up on that point with that whopper plopper. I was actually looking forward to coming back down this with this buzz bait, but he did it before me with that whopper plopper without a bite. That's kind of crazy. Oop. There we go. <laughs> Another one for the buzz bait. Slow down here. Fish this point a little bit more. Golly, hard fighting son of a gun. Get over here, dude. 
get on up here. Another little dude on the buzz bait, but that's why I love the top water. They're fun even when they're little guys like that. Come up and blast the surface. Nothing else like it. This water's just cooling off more and more too. The water was actually like 80 degrees last week when we had our tournament out here. And we won it on top water, so this top water bike should just get better and better as the water cools. drag slipped when I set the hook. What in the world was that all about? I don't know, but it's a decent fish, I think. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's a keeper for sure. There we go. That one hit it as soon as it touched the water too. Never even buzzed it. There we go. First one, it's a keeper for sure. Fish is long. Oh man, stop, 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 stop. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh gosh. Took my trailer hook off the bait somehow. Good thing that happened here just now so I can fix it, but I think that's a 14 inch fish. God, he's got a long tail too and it's split, so you can really pinch it down tight. I bet you that fish goes 14 inches. Almost certainly, I think, but anyway, that was fun. Thank you for playing, buddy. Oop, gonna come up and jump. Nope, there he goes. Well, that was fun. Now I gotta figure out what happened with my trailer hook here. And with my reel too, actually, my reel. The drag slipped a little bit. Oh yeah, it's not tight enough. There we go, that's more like it. <laughs> Another fish just busted the surface over there. They're definitely feeding, so. Just gotta keep moving water and you'll run into one. Oop. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a better one. It's a decent fish there. Got another one. Decent one too. Oop. Got him by just the trailer hook on the outside of the mouth, but wow, actually through the eye socket. Huh. That's crazy. Didn't get his eyeball though, just the socket I think. Yep, I think his eye is perfectly fine, but that one is a keeper for sure. That's actually a pretty decent fish from Medina right there. That's a solid one. It's a good tournament fish, definitely 14 inches. Real thick and healthy. That one weighs pretty good. Thank you for playing, buddy, that was fun. Oop. Gave us a show for the road too. Fish following it. A few of them actually. They're just little guys, but <laughs> still following it. Still following it. <laughs> there was nice blow up just a teeny little guy but that was cool stop it stop it stop it <laughs> wild nice little blow up from such a small fish like i was saying earlier that's why i love throwing that top water though it's fun even when it's a little guy like that Ooh. Oh, that was a nice one. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I was just about to say, how come we're not casting, bro? Golly. That was a nice fish. I saw him when I rolled him on the hook set. That was a good fish there. Dang it.
somebody's gonna catch one on this point over here by these stairs. Got to. It's a great looking spot right now. Got him. Told you somebody's gonna catch one up there. <laughs> Don't reel them too far. You gotta flip them up in the boat, remember. Oh yeah. Careful, don't hook yourself. Uh-huh. That's why I said that. They're feisty once they get in the boat. <laughs> I called it though. I knew there was gonna be one on that point. Oh wow, that's not a bad fish either. Is that a keeper? He might be. You didn't even see him hit, did you? <laughs> I, I saw the initial. Oh, one. okay. You just didn't know didn't know you had him? Yeah, because I reeled and then I even like set the hook a little bit and then it didn't feel like I had him on. Like he wasn't fighting at all. So he was, was probably running at you is what, it, what happened. A lot of times they'll eat a bait and just keep running at you. Put yeah, a little bit of slack in your line. In the stummy pretty hard. I think that's a keeper though. Looks long enough. Yeah. Not a bad one. Definitely fun on the top water. Eehaw. No skunkaroo. I was worried about you there for a little bit. <laughs> nah, I knew for sure by the end of the day you were going to get one on that thing. Ooh. Oh man. That was a bite before it even started buzzing again. Come on, dang it. first bite in a little while there like I was saying though we started getting around this chunkier rock with a better edge closer to the bank there's a bite Nothing amongst that, huh? That's kind of crazy. That looks really good right there. I don't see any shad around here anywhere either, though. Actually, I haven't seen shad in a while. Might be the whole problem. No bait along this bank for some reason. All right, let's turn back around and fish back towards where we first started. Oh my God, what in the world? <sighs> oh my gosh, fish just ate my bait. <laughs> wow, did you see that? Yeah, is it on? Yeah, I got him. My bait was just floating on the surface. <laughs> After that messed up cast. <laughs> This fish come up and ate it. <laughs> All tangled around the hooks and stuff. That's crazy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, stop it, stop it, stop it. Wow. Little butterball, man. He was fat. Looking to eat some more, though. You know what? That's making me wonder if I should put a, a popper or something on. Some sort of slower top water, maybe. He ate it just sitting completely still.
Oh my gosh. Wow. Two bass just came up here real super shallow to eat. I saw them both. Where were they just a second ago when I was throwing my buzz bait up there? Goodness gracious. Looked like decent ones too. Came up and ate something behind me. Super, super shallow. God, that was loud when that fish ate. Huh. Wonder what's wrong with my bait though. How come they didn't come up and eat it? Those fish were not afraid to eat. Right now in the middle of the day, it's a little afternoon now. Got here about 7.30, 7.45 this morning. So we've been here a few hours. Definitely past the morning time bite. But those fish are still up here shallow eating like those two just showed. That was two fish together coming up here to eat. Ooh, big old carp way up here shallow. Definitely not what I saw right back there though. That was definitely two bass feeding. Missed one right here on a buzz bait this morning. So I'm trying to come back here and hopefully get them fired up again, but might've moved out of this area by now. Move around a lot this time of year. They move around with all the bait is what they do. Wherever the bait goes, that's where the fish are going. Golly, I just heard another fish blow up behind me, too. <laughs> okay. A little one just came up and ate right here next to me. I just saw him go back down. I just had one. Yep. Little guy. Just a little dude. Was letting that letting that soft jerk bait sink and try to get down there a little deeper. Twisted a couple times and that fish came up and ate it. I actually felt him pick it up and drop it one time and they came back for it again. Just a little fella. fish oh golly that was a fish dang it ah let's check and see if it hit bottom yet fish had grabbed it don't know how far down there it got I don't have a depth finder or anything on this kayak obviously golly first bite I had these slips though and I miss him Oh, you got him? Oh, golly. Wow, that fish was way shallow too. On top of that rock pile, huh? Not even on the edge. I was trying to get out here to the little outer edge of it, but that fish was right on top of that sucker. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, lost him. Dang it. Looked like that might have been a keeper, too. Wasn't a super tiny fish. First bite we've had in quite a while. Well, other than your couple of missed fish on that whopper plopper. First one we actually hooked in quite a while. Ooh. <laughs> 
That was cool. Right on the corner of that dock. Here we go. Can I run into this boat though, golly. <sighs> Ugly old fish, got a scar on him there. Some kind of, I don't know, some kind of fungus or something. That was cool though, watching him come out and eat it from underneath that dock. Wow, he's blind in one eye too, golly. This dude's got a rough life already. Look at that. Blind in that eye. Got a sore on his that side over there. Thick fish though, he looks healthy, but he's got some just got some scars. Golly, he's got another scar right here. Dude's had a rough life. Anyway, thank you for playing little buddy. <laughs> See you later. Golly, it's a hard fighter. Jeez. Gee whiz, dude. I'm trying to back up from the dock here. I lost one there in the tournament last week too. I broke it off actually. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> I'll be close to a keeper there. A long one. Long and a little bit thin, but that's a fun one. Thank you for playing, buddy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Went to grab my paddle to move myself. Fish came up and ate it. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> again, I was adjusting myself and the fish ate it. Golly, I lost him again. Maybe I gotta work that popper a little bit slower even. Gee whiz, fish took it down when it was sitting completely still. That wasn't a real teeny tiny one either. That might have been another keeper. Another one on a popper. The first one in the boat though. All the other ones came off, but that one finally ate it good. Again though, I went to pause because I went to scratch my face. That's when that fish ate. Definitely not wanting it very fast at all. <laughs> fish busting behind me. They're definitely still active, but just wanting that bait a little bit slower for whatever reason right now. Oh, golly. No! Dang it! Oh, golly. No! Dang it! That was a good fish, too. Gosh! Again, when I went to paddle. And just completely stopped the bait. Goodness gracious. That was a good fish too. I saw the whole th fish before I even set the hook actually. He was swimming away with my bait in his mouth. I set the hook and it just popped right out. Golly. I don't, I don't know what in the world happened there. Should have had that one. Dang it. That looked like a, that was a good fish too for sure. That would have been the best fish of the day. Golly. Oh, yep. 
There was another one just looking at it. Turned off when I popped it though. Golly. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Whole school of them. That one higher was a carp, but it was a whole school of bass right there underneath my popper. Wow. Probably about 10, 15 of them. They were all pretty small, but God, that was a bunch of them. Well, it's about four o'clock, so got to get headed back towards the ramp, actually. I'd like to go across and fish all that, but I am hungry. I am thirsty. And my back is actually killing me right now. So I'm just going to cover water real quickly down this bank we already fished. I don't want to put all the effort into going down there, but I am going to tie on a crankbait right here. So I can go down this bank with a crankbait, something a little bit deeper, but still just covering water. So I don't have to fish real slow. You know what? I was gonna put that deep little end on, but I'm gonna go to a really finesse crankbait here. No rattles in it. Flat sided, got a real tight wobble. A little Berkeley Frit side. That is a Beautiful, beautiful crankbait there. It's become one of my favorite clear water crankbaits. Especially when there's no wind or anything like right now. Nothing to break up the surface or anything. They can see your bait very easily. Alright, well, we're back where we launched. So that's going to be the end of the day there. Definitely not going to complain about that one. We didn't catch a big fish but we definitely caught plenty and when you can start the day and in the day put on top water I'll never complain about that mm -hmm.